We're in Mark chapter 8 today, which has this great bookend of stories in it. It starts off with Jesus feeding 4,000 people, showing his authority and power through this sign of feeding this many people just a few loaves of bread. It ends with Peter declaring who Jesus is, confessing that he is the Christ, saying, hey, he has this power and authority. But in the middle, what happens is that the Pharisees demand a sign. They look at Jesus and say, show us you're from heaven, give us a sign. And he looks at them and says, this generation, you demand signs, but you won't receive them. And it's great. This is how it's said in verse 12, the the Pharisees began to argue and, and they demand a sign from him. And it says this, starting in verse 12. And he sighed deeply in his spirit. Why does this generation seek a sign? Truly, I say to you, No sign will be given to this generation. And he left them, got into his boat again, and went to the other side. I love that. He sighed deeply in his spirit. Can't you just visualize that? You know, it's not a, okay, it's that deep, right? He he has just performed this miracle in front of them, and they're immediately demanding this sign. And then this happens with the disciples. Now they had forgotten to bring bread, the disciples, and had only one loaf with them in the boat. And he cautioned them, saying, Watch out! Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. And they began discussing with one another the fact that they had no bread. And Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why are you discussing the fact that you have no bread? Do you not yet perceive or understand? Are your hearts hardened? Having eyes do you not see? And having ears, do you not hear? And do you not remember when I broke the five loaves for the five thousand? How many baskets full of broken pieces did you take up? They said to him, Twelve. And the seven for the four thousand, how many baskets full of broken pieces did you take up? And they said, Seven. And he said to them, Do you not understand? When Jesus is talking to them about the leaven of the Pharisees and of Herod, he's saying, listen, you saw the signs. Don't be like them who saw the signs and demanded more. Hear their anxiety, their fear, their frustration as they are trying to figure out and arguing about bread, that they only have one loaf. He goes, what have you seen me do? There are 12 of you. What did I do for 5,000? What did I do for 4,000? Would I not take bread for you? How often in our own lives do we see the work of what God has done? Do we see what he's doing in and amongst his people? And then when it comes to us, we go, we get so focused on the one loaf. Do we have enough? Can we have enough of money, time, um, care? Jesus is saying, don't look for the leaven of those who would demand a sign. You've seen the signs. Trust in me. And that's our challenge is to remember that when we pray, give us this day our daily bread, that he does. That he gives us what we need. Are we going to demand more signs? Are we going to say, I have seen the signs, and I trust him.